How'd that happen? She must have called him from the station. It's like a bad cold. Ma'am, could you excuse us, please? It's okay. Captain. How's your friend? She's a little upset. Yeah, I'll bet she is. Well, that's it for Grayson. He's no longer a suspect. But I think we're in the right neighborhood. Uh-huh. Somebody used his dog to lure him in here. The murder weapon. He was struck from behind. Any prints? No, negative on the shovel. Negative on the dog collar, too. Probably wearing gloves. Please don't touch that. Any ideas, Monk? Because I have a few. Most of them involve your girlfriend. She's, she's nuts. She has means, motive. They've been feuding for years. And threatening each other. Now he turns up dead in her garage. He's dead. The lawyer's dead. Lawyer's secretary's dead. Whole lot of dead people. That light with the motion detectors all smashed. Yeah. Probably with the shovel. Our killer preferred to work in the dark. Why didn't he just turn it off? No, the killer couldn't find the switch. Why? Because he'd never been in the garage before. Or she was hiding near the light. It came on, she freaked out, and she smashed it with the shovel. That's possible, Monk. Isn't that possible? It's possible. Yes, here's the situation. Your friend, Monica Waters, is a suspect in three homicides. Oh, no, 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 yes, no, yes. no. Monk, you're not seeing this clearly. You're too close to her. You've got, you've got a big blind spot. I, I just don't. Adrian, listen to me. She is not Trudy. Ms. Waters, your garage is an active crime scene. It's off limits, understood? Yeah. You're not planning on leaving town, are you? No. Good. Adrian, what's going on? Am I, am I a suspect? They're just, they're just doing their job. I can't believe this is happening. I mean, what, what if they're still out there? What if I'm next? Well, I can't stay here alone. What the hell am I supposed to do? I could stay here tonight. You would do that? Can I have a sleepover? First aid kit and toothbrush, backup toothbrushes, backup bristles for the backup toothbrushes. I am not coming to get you in the middle of the night. You won't have to get me. I'm not a child, Sharona. Can't find my PJs. Gently. Adrian, I don't have a good feeling about her. Underwear. Four pairs should be enough. I think she's dangerous. I think you're jealous. I am not jealous. I am scared. Three people are dead. The only danger I'm in tonight is running out of talcum powder. Oh, talcum powder. Hello? Hi. I'm right down the hall, and th this is you. Right down the hall? Wow, wow, this is a great room. Oh, this is Derek's, this was Derek's study. Moist tell us, you didn't have to do that. So you're all right then? Are you kidding? I may never leave. I mean, you know. Um, uh, the couch folds out and there are clean sheets. Oh, I, I brought my own. Adrian, I have sheets. Well, as long as I brought my own, I might as well, I might as well use them. It's no big deal. The um, only thing I need is a pillowcase. Pillowcases. That's a lot of pillowcases. Yeah, Derek never used the same one twice. That must have been hard, living with somebody like that. Yes. And, and no. I'll put them here for you. Well, dinner's about ready. I hope you're hungry. Oh, yeah. I'll just, um, I'll, I'll be right with you. I just want to, uh, go and freshen up. Okay. Hey, 
Captain. Captain, look at this. Give me a quarter. Derek Waters, Monica's ex-husband. Give me a quarter. His credit cards were never canceled. The last thing he bought was on March 11th, and then he just disappeared. March 11th. When did she start building that garage? March 14th, same year. Son of a bitch. He's under the garage. Should we call Monk? No, let him read about it in the paper. Maybe we should call him. Why? I just talked to Sharona. He's there. He's where? Monica? Monica? There you are. Oh, should we eat? Are you okay? Fine. Let's eat. Adrian, you were in the bathroom for like two hours. I don't think so. It's 9.30. I don't think so. I knocked on the door like five times. You did? You kept saying just a minute. I did? Then you recited the lyrics to Duke of Earl. Really? I guess I'm a little nervous. And then for like 20 minutes, you, you were gargling or something. Sorry. Why don't I pour you a glass of wine? It's certainly had a chance to breathe. Hello? Monk, it's me. Get out of there. What? Listen to me. She's a killer. You're in danger. Get out of the house. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.